Next principle we're going to talk about is variable pressure. So say you have a guy down in this position and you do a takedown. If I do a takedown on somebody and I just go to drop, so I did an arm bar all the way down to the ground and I, and I slipped out. When you keep that arm bar on, the body the body's very resilient. It has the ability to register that pain, drop down with the pain, but then if you keep the same amount of pressure on, the body gets used to it. And once it gets used to it, the person is able to get back up and resist. So I'm going to apply arm bar. When you can resist, go ahead and start bending your arm and trying to stand back up. All right. See, it doesn't take very long. Once you apply it, he's able to get back on. Now, variable pressure, all this variable pressure means is means fluxing the, the pain. Little on, little off. Once you get a technique on, and you're in the dojo and the trainer partner taps, you don't ever let go of the technique. You maintain control and hold, you just release the pressure. It's the same thing that you want to get used to doing with somebody out on the street. If it's a pain compliance situation, you're not just breaking something. So if I go to lock on, you do the same thing. When you can handle it, stand, try to get back up, you just flex. Stand back up when you can handle it. You just keep vibrating, variable pressure. All right. Just another version, same thing like we did with the arm bar, the variable pressure, the fingers, it's even much easier to do because the fingers are smaller body part. So if I lock on, same thing, I'm going to drop, do a finger lock. When you can take that amount of pressure, go ahead and start standing back up. It happens very quickly. So again, you got to get used to applying variable pressure. You can't just go full on out and drop the person, but then maintain, think that you're maintaining control by holding the same amount of strength on it. When you drop them, get back up when you can, you've got to keep control of the person. Once you have control of them, now is when you have the pain compliance and you can continue to talk to the person.